All these trees, they're high, so we just chop them down. Carlos Santiago was a man with a machete and a mission, and he wasn't the only one. We just chop down all the trees and make a path, you know, sort of a road, so we could go back and forth and, uh, and get the wires pulled out, and then get the wires installed again. Look How again. long did that take? With the energy we had, that we wanted <laughs> energy. You were motivated. We were so motivated, it took us maybe a day. A day? A day, I mean, but it was like Hard. nine, ten of us. Everybody had a machete. He said, what I got to do? I got, you got to do this. Why don't you take that section there? I'll take this section here. And then we just started going uphill, chopping everything down. And, if Carlos uh, sounds like he went rogue, he did. So did his neighbors after they got an extraordinary call from the mayor of San Sebastian. He says, if you get me people to work, the community involved, to work together, I'll have electricity for you in two days. I said, what? I feel like crying. I mean, it was so stunning. And I said, in two days? I mean, we have gone through hell. And I, I, got to, I got through the community. I said, hey, guys, the mayor said that if you guys help us, help them out, we're going to have electricity in two days. And they said, what? Let's go. What we got to do? And I had a meeting like in 15 minutes. The whole neighborhood was here, the whole community. It was weeks after the hurricane. The entire island was still in darkness, and the forecast from Prepa, the public utility, was bleak. At least six more months to restore power. This is my, these are my main equipment. Uh, That's when the mayor did something no one in Puerto Rico had done before. He took power into his own hands. It was my responsibility to do that. And uh, when you have a responsibility, you have to do it. Javier Jimenez created the town's own power utility, called it the Pepino Power Authority, after San Sebastian's nickname. Who is it made up of? The Pepino Power is a movement of San Sebastian. Uh, we create, we are our employees, uh, we ask uh, retirement employees from PREPA, and we include, when we was in the community, the people who live in this community. The people stand up and take control of his destiny. The town documented every step of it in daily video updates as a group of vigilante line workers reconnected the town to the grid themselves. But as word spread, so did resistance. PREPA, the state utility, and the government of Puerto Rico filed complaints and ordered the amateur utility to stop work. And did you? No, we continue. You continue. I don't care if, what, what, they, what they say. I have to do something for my people. No one can stop us to do my duty. It's my duty to help my people. So into the bush they went, led by retired prepa worker Gilbert Soto, who goes by Gifo. What were you trying to get to? Gifo shows us where he led a team of volunteers to clear a path. You were trying to get to the power lines? Yeah. You see? Yes. To the other side. And they had all the, the power of things had fallen. Yeah. The, the poles. So you had to go through all this thick, 000. all these trees. You had to cut. All of three, like this. Look at this, like this. All wow. that must, like this. That's hard work. Yeah, a lot of work. And in the heat. Yeah. Wow. Gifo and his core team, all retired utility workers, did the actual repairs using spare and donated parts. See those coiled sections on the line? That's where they tied the torn cables together by hand. I am a... a you are religious? A, my religions and my personal... Belief. Belief. A, I have to service the community. I have to do something. That something amounted to a lot. Three months after the hurricane, 92% of San Sebastian had power, months before most of the island. My wife started running towards the house, signaling, hey, look, there's light. And everybody, oh, we started clapping, we were so happy. And then we came on up the block, everybody started turning on their lights, and myself, and then they turned on that transformer. There's like three or four transformers, and then they, the whole neighborhood had electricity. It was amazing, really amazing. Because of that success, Puerto Rico recently made it legal for other towns to create their own utilities in the event of an emergency. Uh, the legacy of a renegade mayor who didn't wait for permission. So if 
other insurers can come to Puerto Rico or other kind of, of emergency come to Puerto Rico. We are ready. We are ready. <laughs> Joanna Rimaliotis, CBC News, San Sebastian, Puerto Rico.